I'm Courtney and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through an internal color selections appointment here at the My Choice Studio in the Hunter. Make sure though before you get stuck into it you head down below and hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you're notified every time I post. Alright, let's get stuck into it. So the first step when you get into the studio is really to get the greater understanding of the options you have. There are six design styles and you'll see them right here behind me. So we start with global, urban, which is kind of your industrial style. You've got your classic, which really talks to your vintage and your Hampton. Across from me here is then contemporary, luxe and your coastal options. So make sure before you come into the studio, you've had a look through the design quiz that the team does send out to you and that you familiarize yourself with these options. I'd also highly recommend sitting down with your partner or whoever else is helping you build the home and make sure that you're in agreement about what design styles you both like and if you've got two that you're choosing from, how you're able to merge them. The next thing you really want to get into the detail of and have great understanding about is how much you're comfortable spending in the studio. A lot of the time there's some great options of things that you can upgrade or make even prettier and better. So you might want to consider setting a budget or an amount of money that you're comfortable spending so that when you come into the studio, you know what that is. And then also write out a list of anything throughout the process that you've seen or you've liked, all those Pinterest pictures you've collected. Write out a list and order them most important to you to least important. So when you get into the studio, you've got your list, you've got the amount that you're happy to spend and you can tick off your list as that goes down and either you run out of budget first or you tick off all your list. But I guarantee if you do it this way, you'll walk out of the studio a very, very happy customer. One of the first items you'll select during your internal appointment is going to be your tiles. Now you've got floor tiles here, your large floor area tiles, which are 600 by 600. You've also got your splash back tiles to select, wall tiles, and feature tiles for areas like your little shampoo recesses. Now let me show you through some of the carpets you have in the studio here. There's some of these looped piles with this great texture that you'll see throughout the space. And then you've also got your cut piles like these ones here. Obviously color really comes into play depending on what else is going through your home. And the carpet really is gonna complement the rest of your selections made. It does take up such a large flooring surface area that you wanna make sure it's not something that's gonna jump out and not match and tie in with the rest of your theming. I do have a huge number of house tours I've done myself. So if you're having it, trouble finding the right flooring for your home, make sure to check out those home tours. I'll link up to that playlist up above for you now. You have got a choice to upgrade as well to a thicker underlay with the carpet. Now this is going to give you a denser feeling and give you more longevity out of the carpet too. Now down below here underneath these are the drawers that include all of your engineered and laminated timber options. Again, as you can see from the number of drawers, there's heaps to go through. So you can kind of give your interior designer a feel for what you're looking for and they can help point out the right drawers to help tie in with the rest of your home. After you've selected your flooring for the entirety of the home, we then move into your kitchen selection. We've got your Caesar stone options and you've got heaps of colors to choose from here. On display, you'll see the 20 mil Caesar stone, which is your standard. You can also upgrade this to your 40 and your 60 mil. You can have a variety of thicknesses throughout your home in your butler's pantry, on your island, and then your main run of cabinetry. And you can also add in for your kitchen island waterfall edges so that this stone drops down to the floor. When we do this waterfall edge, they do a 90 degree angle cut and that way the join is really seamless looking. All right, let me talk you through the cabinetry options. So in this section of your kitchen selections, you now go ahead and pick your cabinetry. You've got Polytech and Laminex to select from in both your natural and your matte finishes. If you want to then step up from that into a different range, you've got your polyurethane, which gives you a variety of different fronts. So you can select a different face on the cabinetry as well. Then you've also got your thermo laminate too. You've also got the option to pick up to two different color types of standard. So you can do a two-tone look, just like the urban kitchen on display here. During this section, you'll also select how your cabinets open. You've got versions like this one where they sit a little bit lower so you can just pull it open. You've also got your push to open, pop style or you can add in different handles to suit your taste. While you're making your kitchen selections, you will pick your splash back finish if you didn't opt to go with a window splash back. You'll also choose your appliances next. You can see here a wall tower oven option, 
coffee machines, dishwasher drawers, integrated appliances like your dishwasher and your fridge. You'll also see an extra wide 900 millimeter oven and you've got options with your induction cooktop, electric cooktop or gas. Now I wanted to bring you into the classic kitchen on display here to show you this white ceramic farmhouse style sink that's made out of fire clay. There are so many different sinks to select from and there's a whole wall of them over behind me here that I will show you in a minute too. You've also got taps to select from in different colors and finishes. Ones like this that'll have the pull out options. Here you can see we've got plenty of tapware options for your kitchen and all these drawers down below is actually going to be your sinks to select from. There's options in the stainless steel versions and you've also got your matte black and other colors to select from. In your bathroom selections, you're going to be going through the vanity itself first and foremost. You're going to be talking about what type of top your cabinet has, whether it's the stone or the laminex and polytech. And then also the finish, colour and style of your cabinetry below, and whether that is a wall mounted option or a floor mounted option. You then go into the details about the mirror above here, and in a moment I will show you through the basins and the tapware for this area. Next to this, you'll see on display here the hobbed bath option. We also have freestanding baths too, so you pick which one of those you want. You might also want the wall to back option that is in one of the other displays just across the way. You're also going to pick your spout for the bath as well, and whether that's going to be a wall mounted or a floor mounted option. You're going to select your toilet as well, and obviously you need to do this for your bathroom, powder room, and en suites. You've got an option of a concealed version too, and above here you can see some other styles of mirrors you can select from. With your shower in each of these spaces, you've got even more options to select from. During your initial appointments, you should have decided whether you want a cutout or a shower recess in there, but now you'll be selecting on what kind of frame you've got around your shower and if that is a particular color, your tapware, and also your shower head. And then don't forget to put a bit of detail and thought into your floor waste drain in the shower too. I went for a smart tile version in my home and that house too, you can see, I'll link it up above here for you now as well. We're then gonna move on to your laundry selections. You're gonna have your countertops to select from and your cabinetry here too. You can obviously do your cupboards like you see under the sink here. And then you've got options like your hamper that can be concealed in a drawer just like this one. Your appliances would have been selected when we did your kitchen appliance selection. We'll just make sure that they obviously suit your cabinetry based on whether you selected a dryer that is wall mounted or one that is just like this one on the ground next to your washing machine. We'll go ahead and pick your splashback tiles, your sink and your tapware for this area as well. You can see here some of the paint colors you have to select from in the Tallman's range. You get a three coat paint system included on your walls of the home. And you have a variety of colors that you have a whole pamphlet to choose from. The team will provide you this when you do arrive at the studio. But this wall is really great as it does break them down into those six design styles to help you narrow down that search a little bit more. You've got the door handles just underneath the stairs in the studio here. So once you've selected your doors, make sure you pick out the handles to go throughout your home. You've got different options here with some chrome bright options, and then you've also got your satin variation. Leather handles are the ones that pull down, otherwise you do have some solid handles that don't pull, or your round knob versions too. Different colours include your gold, you've got your blacks and your matte colours, and some more bronzed colours, and then obviously your silver. Next, you'll move on to selecting your skirting, architraves, and corners. You'll see there's ranges here that suit a more contemporary style, something a bit more colonial and heritage looking, and then some that are a bit plainer as well. Your standard options for your skirting and your architrave is gonna be the half splayed 67 millimeter, and then for your corners, you've got the classic look 90 mil corners cove. Welcome to level two of the My Choice Studio. We're now gonna take you through door selections, window coverings, fireplaces, and stairs. Here we're at the doors now, and again, you can see there's two different styles really on display. You've got your standard doors, which are the ones that you can paint, and your flat finish, just like the one you see here, is included in all the homes. If you're gonna go with a white color like this, I would recommend switching up to the acrylic paint to give that really crisp look. 
And you've also got the option with these ones that have the wood grain to go ahead and do a stain. I also love the Lin One door that you can see right here. I use this in my own home in the walk-in pantry and also in my double cavity sliders in the children's activity. I will link to my full home tour of that house up above here for you now too. You can either do the translucent frosted style glass that you see here or you can go for a clear option if you want a more light, bright, airy feel letting that natural light seep into the space. Again, staining is an option with this door type when you see the grain, otherwise you can go for a paint. We're now here in the window covering section and we're gonna go through a variety of choices you have with your window coverings. Now these can either be done during construction by us, McDonald Jones Homes, or you can choose to do them after your handover. My personal recommendation is to have them done by the builder. When I moved into my home, we did not do the window coverings with the builder. And for the first few weeks living in the home, we really didn't have full functionality of our bathrooms or even our bedroom because our windows didn't have coverings over them. So for the few hundred dollars I saved doing it after handover, I would highly recommend avoiding that and just having it done with the builder. So when you start with the window coverings, your entry level option is your roller blinds. Now these can come in either a single with a sheer or a block out version or you can do the dual version which gives you both options in one. So now you can see behind me here we've got the beautiful S fold with the rail that runs across the ceiling. However you can also go for a pencil pleat version too and then you head into the shutters. Now you've got a few different options here with materials. You've either got your timber or the synthetic version which is made out of a material similar to Lego. Now that's what we recommend using in your wet areas, but I actually used this version throughout my entire home. If you have a desk included in your design, you will see this on your plans from the beginning. It'll actually just say desk right there. But if you've got one, then you'll go ahead and select the color of this desk during the appointment. You can see on display here a cute version with the coastal style theming and this beautiful wood grain. If you do opt to add a fireplace into your new home build, then you'll want to come and check out the display here. But make sure you let your interior designer know during your interior design appointment, which is the first appointment you do have at the studio prior to your internal color selections. They'll make sure that there is a cavity created within your home, within the walls, to house this fireplace. Now they're going to create that cavity and then during your selections, you're going to pick a fire based on its width. So you can see two different width fireplaces here and you can also see internally within the fireplaces the options of pebbles or your decorative wood. The other thing you want to take into consideration with your fireplace construction is going to be the exterior material so you can see either a face brick option here or tiles on display as well. Last but not least, let me take you over to have a look at the stairs now if you do have a two-story home design. So one of the last items you'll select if it is applicable in your two-story home design is going to be your staircase. You're going to go ahead and select your rises and your tread, so the bit of the stairs you actually step on, and then your handrail, your posts, and your balustrade. This is all the options here that they've got on display in the studio, and there's a huge variety to select from, but even more options that they can price up for you and show you images of too. So there's definitely something to suit your taste. Thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of this interior selections appointment at the Hunter My Choice Studio. If you like this video and want to see more content just like this, head down below and hit that subscribe button and ring the little notifications bell so that you're notified every time I post. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.